What's up, everybody? A spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Dragon Quest Builders. I'm out here in the green portal area where we were in the last episode, confirming a theory that these werewolves are actually the ones that dropped the werewolf pelts, which we needed for our chainmail. You guys need to stop that. Really? Now I'm getting stunlocked by these stupid little slimes? Get away from me. Be gone. All of you die. Uh, let's see. I have four, five, six. Let's kill these two. Actually, we're gonna test out our new Falcon Blade. Because that seems cool. I wonder what happens if we do it. Oh, you do get twice. Well, that's interesting. Hmm. That's pretty cool, actually. Alright, wait, I thought I... No, I miss... Yeah, I either miscounted or they don't always drop the pelts. In anyways, um, I'm gonna collect probably one more and then we'll head back to the base. That's a golden golem. That's what that is. That's a golem. That is a golden golem. I don't have any wrecking balls on me. Oh, he actually doesn't get... He doesn't actually do that... Or, uh, take that much to hurt. Uh oh Hey, where are you going? Come here! Ooh. Oh, and he drops the golem. Well, that's convenient. Okay, so we are back at the base here, and I've equipped my chainmail armor now. So that's probably the best we're going to do in terms of um, our defense and things before we fight the Condor. Now, there is the one thing about the rings, which we have anti-paralysis and poison on, but I also have an extra attack and defense, so if we find that enemies aren't using that or something, I can always switch them. I think these are ready, but I'm not sure. I hope so. I only got... Well, I did get one. So I guess they're ready. Let me see what it requires. I need five. And I need some more liquid silver. So let's just turn these in to four seeds. And we'll do this. I basically just want to always make sure I have one of these holy lock or holy hawk ones. Um, and I also should preface that let's see, what is this episode? 23? So 22, 23. Um let's see. <laughs> let me let me think. So they weren't all filmed at the same time, but episode 19 I think just went up. So again, keep that in mind that up through this episode I I won't have read any comments up through episode 19, I think. So I'm going to keep working on planting and getting this going and when we have enough, I will be ready to make the the uh drought. Okay, so we should be really good to go here. Um, especially considering that uh, I have a few more seeds in the in the coffer. So there's that. So I'm gonna make just enough for the divine drought. And then I'll probably turn the rest into seeds just in case. Because that'll give me 16, which is more than enough to keep planting and doing and whatever. Okay. So now we give this to her. I think. Oh, what was that? It was an awesome potion. You created a cure just for me? Well, no. I was dreaming. I dreamt I saw the Hades Condor, that awful bird. Thanks to you, we have conquered so many sicknesses and saved so many people from the Blight. If we could only slay the Hades Condor in turn, we could clear the darkness from the sky and return the light to Remalder. Please, Sparrow, destroy that foul beast. It's the font 
of all the pain and misery in this land. Um, so I guess I need to rest. Well, let's talk to him first. Sparrow, oh, you saved my L. Thank you. I can't tell you how much this means to me. Sparrow, I, I was wrong. When Ilias took his research down the wrong path, I abandoned him. I forsook my own apprentice and left him to die. I made excuses for myself. I lectured anyone who would listen about the dignity of accepting death and all manner of philosophical sophistry? Sure. But in the end, I couldn't sit by and watch while my dear sweet granddaughter wasted away. I was a fool. Yeah, pretty much. What? Yes, I remember now. You said the same thing when we first met. Though it may be foolish to rebel against our fates, that is what makes us human. There is wisdom in your words, though seeing them spout from such a dopey face is really rather vexing. <laughs> really wish people would stop saying I have a dopey face. Well, by the time we wake up tomorrow morning, El should be fully recovered. I think you've earned yourself a good night's sleep, too. In the morning, I suggest you check up on her and see how she is. Thank you again. Words cannot express how truly grateful I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so... Whoa! What in the world was that tremendous shaking? No, it can't be! Um, so the problem is... We built these ballista, right? Like, that's supposed to be... For, uh... Anti... Anti-birds. You know. But... The problem with said ballista is I don't know that they're up high enough. So I'm not sure if we're ready to do this or not. Tell you what, I'm going to save it and then we're going to rest, which will have a brand new day thing and we'll see where that gets us. Okay, so here we are on the next day. Let's go to see how Elle's doing. She, oddly enough, she doesn't have a quest. Thanks to you, I'm as fit as a fiddle again. I can only apologize for the things that I said to you when I first fell sick. I was a coward. But when you took me in your arms and laid me to rest in that bed in the sick room that we built together, I felt somehow fulfilled. Thank you. Thank you so much for saving me. Yeah, I kind of came full circle, I guess. Alright, so one thing I did was I did this. I repurposed the secondary farm for a gun tower. Now, I don't know where the thing's gonna show up, but at least I'll have four directions to shoot Ballista at it. So, I've saved it, so we'll see how this goes. The monsters are coming! A vast host is descending upon our town! We have cured so many diseases and even formulated the divine drought by which this land might be saved! Unfortunately, it looks like our hard work has ruffled the Hades Condor's feathers. The beast means to destroy our town and everything in it. Come, the battle for Remolder's heart and his soul is finally at hand. Once we dispatch its underlings, we will, we will be free to face the Condor. Incidentally, have you spoken with Elle since she awoke? She'd have a fit if she knew we were going to war without her. Well, yeah, I talked to her. Alright, let's do this. I mean, YOLO, right? I mean, I did save it, so... Alright, so he is totally not where I need him to be in order for this to work. Okay, this this falcon blade is pretty awesome. Okay, so we've got... We've got one of six in a two-phase battle. Oh, this, this thing is awesome! I love it! Oh, and I did find um, that the hammerheads couldn't bust through the wood wall, so we should be good in that regard, too. Come here! Haha! -ha, you can't poison me! You can't poison me! Na -na 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 -na. You can't poison me! Uh oh, zombies! Come here! I hate blackheads! Hate them! I wonder what happens if an NPC actually dies. That's something that never really came up. Yeah, this sword is awesome. Okay, there's more. Come on. 
That's so cool! Like, if you just spam the attack button, it just pummels things. It's great! Though I wouldn't mind if in, like, the next chapter or something, somebody teaches me how to make a bow. That would be kind of useful. Hey! Get back here! I don't even... Can I... I don't think I can go out there. Can I go out there? I don't think I can go out there. Alright. Hold on. Wait, he's going out there. Get him, Gruntius! Oh, he did. Okay, cool. Alright, now I have no idea what we're gonna be doing. Oh, that's right. There's usually like a battle before the battle. I don't need an antidote. I'm invincible! When it comes to poison, anyway. Alright, let's see what we got. Impressive work. You certainly made short work of those monsters. But your task is not over yet. Even more of the Hades Condor forces bear down upon us. I won't let you fight these those blighters alone. Let's show them a thing or two together. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. You have like two or three battle round. I think it's two, and then the third is the boss. I think is how it actually goes. Oh, can I shoot him from there? Darn. I was hoping. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Get back! Get back! Get back! Ouchie! No! Place! Good. Close enough! Right, we gotta get out of here. I'm swinging at nothing. You can't stun me! Na 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 na! You can't stun me! You can just pummel me though! Good gravy! Let them handle that guy. Right. Now, let me fix this. Get out of the way. Thank you. Where are you guys going over there? Oops, wrong button. Wrong sword. Ah! They're not playing around. Come on, let you turn. I need you to turn. So the the Falcon Blade works really well on these zombie guys. Not so much on some of these guys. Oh, Grantius is down. Well, I guess we'll find out what happens when they die. Boom. Monsters are defeated. Alright, cool. <laughs> Grantius is down. No big deal. Tingle tablets. Don't need them! <laughs> I guess he's up now. Alright, let's get rid of this stuff. Because it's just taking up space. Alright, what do you got for me? Another band of the Hades Condor's underlings defeated. We need only hold out a little longer. This next assault may well be the last before the beastly bird takes matters into its own hands. Talons, whatever. Okay, so it's, um... It's three, I guess. Or maybe they're upping it. I don't know. I guess they could be upping it. Can I... Ah! I wanted to hit him. Ooh, that did... That did nice. Yeah, the Falcon Blade thing is way cool. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't want to get caught in that. Because that I don't have a ring for or whatever. Now, I don't know at this point, after... Eh, after whatchamacallit, um, the cat killer pillars and all that are gone. I don't know if I actually need the poison and paralysis resistance or whatever. Some tear wolves? I thought they were supposed to be be werewolves. Yeah. 
And I don't know, I guess that's critical hits or whatever. When, um... When you get, like, that really loud hit. I guess that's, like, a critical hit. Come on. Axe, make it up. Hey, you. Stop that. Stop that. Really stun him, I guess. And here you go. Let let them aggro him. I'll just stand back, wail on him a bit. Okay, so I think we're gonna end up sleeping before we do the next one, so that we're fighting in daytime. But I mean, I'm not super worried about it unless there's. I can always tell him no, but let's see what he says. The Feathered Fiend's followers are no more. All that's left is the Hades Condor itself. The root of the blight that grips our land and the darkness that enshrouds it. Slay it and light will return. But remember, young man, the beast is known to fly through the air, far out of range of any sword or axe. You must use the ballista your friends invented to shoot, him, shoot it from the sky. Place these weapons high above the ground and unleash their full force the moment your enemy lets its guard down. Okay. So that's how we're supposed to do things. No! Leave me alone. Alright, so let me um, get set up and save and things like that, and then we'll do this. Okay, so we're ready to go. Um, I did go further and told him yes, thinking it would just trigger the next thing, and he says, you're not alone, we'll fight next to you, and then he says, what, you're going to fight it alone? Very well, if you fear that we will only get in the way, I defer to your judgment. Now go, slay the Hades Condor and restore the land. So the big thing fear that I have here is I don't know I don't know if he'll break the town because the the golem could break the town but they all are getting teleported away that's probably not good or good depending on how this goes okay Hades Condor So I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to deal with him. Let's see if I can just fire... No, that doesn't work. Oh, wait! Oh, wait! Get back here! Okay, so he does kind of fly around. Oh, come on! How did that not hit him? Okay, so the infirmary is destroyed. Wait, what? Ah, crud. So it's not him, it's them. That's annoying. Resting its wing. Okay, so that's when I'm supposed to hit it. Bagnabbit, get out of my town. Just go away. Come on, get... Get out of here. This is not good to try and build while you're fighting. Whatever. Alright, so this is not set up properly. Because whenever he's resting, it's like, um... Oh, wow. Okay. Oops, I didn't need to do that. He calls for backup. Great. Um... Seriously? Oh, I hate I hate things that can break blocks. That's very annoying. Not to mention when I'm confused and my controls reverse. Also annoying. Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Get out of here. Go away. Ah, my controls are inverted. Oh my goodness. Get away. That is very annoying. Okay. I need this to go somewhere. Otherwise, I won't be able to ever shoot this thing. Ugh. See, this is the problem with not knowing how boss battles are gonna go or where they're gonna be. They're like, place things, and you're like, uh, where? Because I have no idea where you want me to put them. Wow, he's just making a mess of the place. Alright, best I can do... 
is like this. We're just gonna make this like the defendable spot. I guess. And I'll have to get down here. Get Stop it. Really not too worried about all that stuff. Alright. Now we're in a little bit better of a situation. Because whenever he rests, it seems to be back over here. And I'm not... Really? It's not high enough? Heck, damn it. Okay, these guys I don't like. Alright, we're getting the hang of this. It really just kind of messed with me because I was not in the right spot. And I can't quite figure out, sometimes those break stuff and sometimes they don't. I don't get it. Alright, come here. How high do I have to be? Good gravy. That's really getting annoying, actually. It's like, the boss itself is not that hard, it's just getting him to get hurt that's difficult. It's actually really aggravating me. Alright, fine. We'll leave that as a walkway. How's that? Yeah, I know he's resting. I can't do anything to him. Oh, come on! What? I don't understand why this is not hurting him at all. It's really kind of annoying. I mean, it can't need to be that much higher. Can it? Alright, come back here. Unless I need to be over one. Maybe? That's going right through him! What the heck, man? Seriously, what do I have to do to this guy? Alright, give me a minute. Okay, I think I finally got the thing positioned where it'll actually hurt him. I think. It didn't actually do anything to him, but it looked like it actually hit. So there's that, and I need to do something about that walkway. Jump. Sure. There we go. Okay. So it took two hits. Screw it. I'm not even going to bother charging up. I'm just going to wail on his face. Alright, that's not that, that hard of a boss battle at all. Shoot the condor with the ballista. Yeah, between, between, uh, the way we got everything set up, and, um, I can't figure out how it decides when to break blocks. It's like, oh, come on! How did he get in here? That's annoying. And I'm confused, of course. Okay, oh my gosh, I can't move. That's great! That's great! I don't know what's happening. Awesome. Okay. That was annoying. So apparently it does not like getting shot in the face. Because it was very angry about that. I can't tell if this is a really good boss battle or a really bad one. <laughs> okay, so he's upgrading. Come on. Get over here. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh, okay. At certain heights, it seems to be tracking him. Oh, come on. How are these things getting in here? That's annoying.
Come on. Flippity flap all the way back over here. Come on. Wait, that didn't that didn't drop him! I need to shoot him five times? Since when is that a thing? I really don't like that confusion crap. That is really getting old. How are these things getting in over here, by the way? Mm -hmm. Okay, I've decided it's a really annoying fight. The gold is better. What the? What is this? Ah, crud. Okay, it just tracks me. Great. Nope. Nope. Dang it. Okay, so this is what's annoying about this, is it's- you spend more time trying to get a hit on the thing than you actually do fighting. That's what's annoying. Because it's like, if he would just stand still and fight, I could actually kill him without much of a problem. So it's just all the other crap that's getting more irritating than anything else. Like, how these guys are getting in here. Yeah, whatever. Oh, this is good. Jeez. This is so bad. Really? Now, I don't know how this would go if I was more set up. Uh, with the ballistas and stuff to actually fight him. Alright, drop. You jerk. I don't even want to know what he's going to do as this fight escalates. Like, it just can't go well. Don't you confuse me. Don't you do it. No. This? Oh boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever. It always throws me to the same spot. That's kind of weird. I know it's resting, and it's always resting when I can't get to him. Because you threw me all the way across the. Whatever. I probably need to drop him about two more times, I'm thinking. I really get annoyed that these guys get in here, though. I probably shouldn't really be worried about this all that much, because... Like, honestly, we're gonna end up leaving this village in, after this fight, probably. Why can I not hit this guy? What the heck? Die already, a turd? Get over here. Uh. Oh, now I have to hit him seven times. Because that's not ridiculous at all. Oh, one more. Oh, dang it. Alright, I may do some speed ups here and there. Just to expedite this a little bit, because... It's kind of dragging on a bit. I don't know, a lot depends on whether or not... <sighs> he's gonna tornado me, really? Right before he has one shot left, he's gonna tornado me. Which throws me all the way over here, then he's gonna rest, and I won't be able to get back there for that one shot. So that's what I'm saying, like... This really isn't that difficult, it's kind of more frustrating than anything else because it's all about timing and they keep messing messing you up with the timing. 
to where it's like you have to wait through all this, you gotta fight all these guys. It's really aggravating, actually. Ooh. Okay, now I'm stuck. I don't know, actually, if this is one of those- it says defeat the cronies and all that. I wonder if I can actually hit him when they're around, or if it won't really register, like if it won't count. Come on, get over here, stupid bird. Get down. Get down. Yeah, I'm gonna have to hit him again. Oh, maybe not! Oh, maybe not! Yes! Die! And stay dead! Give me this. Whatever it is. I don't even care. Just give it in. <sighs> First storm stone. Alright, well, that was annoying. Staff of rain, a sacred scepter that calls down the blessed rains. Interesting. Okay. Well, I do think since we're really low on time, uh, we're going to wrap things up for this episode. In the next episode, we'll probably continue and see where the next place leads us and all that good stuff. So in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.